In the second part of this two-part series about the Elgato Stream Deck, it is time to customize and use our deck. In the first part, I already showed you how to install the software and a first look of the software. But now it's time for the real fun part of this device. So, let's add some macros. Yes, let's finally start adding some macros indeed. Let's finally start customizing our very own Stream Deck. And adding a macro or an action is actually a very simple process for the Stream Deck. Let's say for a starter, I want to open YouTube homepage. Since YouTube is a website, go to system. At the top, you'll find website, click on it, and just drag it to the key that you want it assigned to. In my case, the top left key of my Stream Deck. So drag it, hold it, and drop it. And as you can see on my screen and on the Stream Deck right here, you'll see a globe icon and that is the key that it's assigned to. But we still don't have a title and we still don't have a function for that specific macro. So let's give it a title. And since we're just opening YouTube, I will just call it YouTube. Then let's go to YouTube and copy the URL. Go back to your Stream Deck software and paste the URL in the URL. And that's basically it. Now you have added a macro to open up YouTube from your Stream Deck. But there is still this very dull icon and I believe the text YouTube is a little bit big. It doesn't need to be that big. And yes, of course, we can change that as well. First, let's make that text a little bit smaller. Next to the title, you will find a T with an arrow facing downwards. Click on it and at the bottom left of this menu, you will see the number nine. And that is of course our font size and I want to make it smaller. So let's just go to around seven. Let's make it a bit smaller. I like uh, seven. You can also change the color of the text as well, but I like the white text actually. But we still have that very globe weird default icon. And let's say I just wanted to add the YouTube logo because let's say I'm hosting a webinar and I need to open YouTube really quick. I just want to know immediately, ah, this key, YouTube logo, bam. So go to the icon as you see on my screen, then click on the arrow and here you have three different options to add an icon. You have set from file, which is like a downloaded file or in my case, a logo from my computer. You also have create a new icon via their own website or you can open the Stream Deck icon library. I will choose set for file, but just for a reference point, if I press create new icon, you'll see that I uh, go to an Elgato website where you can really make your own icon. And let's say uh, open the Stream Deck icon library. And here you have tons and tons of options just to choose from, from their very own library. But I still don't see a YouTube logo here. So let's just close this menu and then go to set from file. I'm already in my downloads. I already see YouTube logo right here. Press open and there you go. On my screen as well, of course, on my stream deck. I have a YouTube icon, I have a YouTube title and I have a macro that goes immediately to YouTube. So I will close YouTube on my screen. I'm going to go to the Stream Deck software because it really just opens on my screen. So we are still in the Stream Deck software. Right here, I have an icon for YouTube. And if I press this icon, you'll see on my screen that YouTube opens up immediately. Let's add another one. Let's say I'm hosting a webinar for a very specific target audience and I want to show my LinkedIn profile. And I need to find my LinkedIn profile really quick because I don't want to type in my email address, I don't want to type in my password. Let's say that I uh, make a typo or forget my password. It's really not a good look on camera. So I will go to my LinkedIn. I will of course copy the URL again. And then just with YouTube, because LinkedIn is a website and a social media platform as well. We need to go to system again, go to website, drag it to the next key, give it a title, let's call it social, just to change it up a bit. Paste my LinkedIn URL right here. Uh, let's make the text, uh, well, the text fits actually pretty nice, but just for consistency, let's put this one to seven as well. And then I will change the icon to a LinkedIn logo. Click on the drop-down menu, set from file. 
I'll, it will open up my downloads. I will choose LinkedIn logo, open, and there you go. But I don't think it actually really needs a title because as you can see, the text is kind of blocking um, the LinkedIn logo or it, it's almost like an overlay. So for the LinkedIn one, let's use no title at all. That is also an option, of course. Everybody knows the LinkedIn logo, so you don't need it. And then I will close my LinkedIn profile right here. Let's go to the YouTube page, just to go to some page. And if I press the LinkedIn, you will see right away on my screen, it opens up my beautiful LinkedIn profile. Let's see, what else can we add as a macro? Uh, well, of course, let's open up the Webinar Geek app. Very obvious one as well. So right here, log into your account. I will copy this one. Uh, Webinar Geek, of course, is browser-based, so it's still a website. Once again, just press website, go to right here. These are also very good examples. I mean, it's the third website, but this is also very good examples for things that you could use, like YouTube, LinkedIn, of course, open up Webinar Geek. And uh, let's give it a title. Let's give it uh, Webinar Geek. And of course, of course, we need to add a logo as well. Set from file, Webinar Geek logo, and right here. As you can see, it already says Webinar Geek, so I don't think this one needs a title as well. Then paste my URL. And there we go. If I close the Webinar Geek app on my computer really quick, I will go to the software once again. And if I press Webinar Geek logo, it opens up Webinar Geek and all I have to do is log into my account. Something that I have noticed though is if you uh, assign the key to Webinar Geek while you're already logged in, you will still need to log in because of our very good security reasons and very good security systems. Now let's take it a little bit further and add something that isn't a website. And that's because I have this beautiful light right here. And that's because this is also from Elgato, just like the Stream Deck. So of course they have integrations for their very own products and apps as well. And that's why I've downloaded the Control Center already. And here you can assign certain actions for this very specific light. Now I do want to mention something and that is you already have to uh, have the Control Center uh, application downloaded and open because it's a wireless connection between the application and this light because the only cable that's here right now is just for the power and not a USB to my laptop. So I already have the control center opened and I have added my Keylight Air as you can see right here to the control center. Let's give it a very very easy one and just turn it on. Just turn this light on. So I will just go to the control center. This is the plugin that you need to download, by the way, in the plugins menu from the store. And I will show you once more. Here you will see plugins and here you will see uh, lighting control center by Elgato. Just click on install, add the light, and that's all you need to do. But you do need to have the control center open. So let's say on and off, and let's just put it right here to the fourth key. And here you will see accessory is the 093C, which is this light exactly. Uh, let's change the icon as well, or let's give it a title first. Let's call it uh, Key Light Air. And as you can see, the text is very, very big once again, and it, it's very long actually. So let's just let's just call it Key Light. I will remove the air because I know which light I have. And let's press enter right here. So now you have key light, key and light. Let's change the icon. And for this one, let's just open the Stream Deck icon library because I believe they already have a certain icon for key lights. Yes, right here. And let's say I'm using this warm type of light. And there you go. Light. Right here, there you go, and there you go. So if I press this key on my Stream Deck, this light should go on. Let's see if it works. 
I'm going to press this key. And there we go. The light is turned on via the stream deck, which I've connected. Or sorry, the light is turned on, which I've connected to the control center. The control center is connected to the software. And of course, the software is correspondent with the actual hardware part of the stream deck. The last one I wanted to show you is something very, very, very great. And that is multi-action and that you probably already guessed it. You press one button on your stream deck and multiple things happen. The light is off, by the way. So let's go to multi-action on my screen. Drag the first one to my final F50. And then on my screen, as you can see, we came into this special menu and drag an action from the right and drop it here. It's the same with the keys. So actually we're now a key in a key. And I wanted to open YouTube and I want to turn on the light. So I wanted to add YouTube. So I would just, uh, YouTube is still a website. So I would just go to YouTube. Now we'll paste my YouTube URL title. Just call it YT, that's no problem. And then once again, I will go to the control center one, on off, drag it right here as well. This is on on, which is great. It's still 093C, which is still the key light. And uh, well, title is key light. And there we go. To go back to the overview of the entire stream deck, you need to click multi-action at the top right here. And now you have added your multi-action macro right here. Let me see if YouTube is closed. Yes, YouTube is closed. So when I press this button, the light should go on and YouTube should be opening. So let's press the button right here. And as you can see, YouTube is opening and the light is on. And that's all that I wanted to show you. And this is just really, really, I really just scratched the surface of what the Stream Deck can do. And uh, before I started working with the Stream Deck, I really thought, why would anyone use this? Because you just have another piece of hardware sitting on your desk that you need to press. And when you're hosting a webinar, I'm constantly focused on my laptop just to make sure that everything is, uh, is great. Lights are working, camera is still on, audio is still recording. So I thought, why? But it made my life so much easier and I'm really, really, really going to use it more often. So you probably will see it uh, in a video one way or another. And like I said, keep in mind for that OBS video. But in general, I do think that the Stream Deck, as you may already guess, is a really, really great handy tool. Not just for streaming, but for your work in general. Like I'm also an editor here at Webinar Geek and I can open a Premiere, I can open a, a, a OBS, a lot of different websites. So this is really just a beginner tutorial on how to set up your Stream Deck. So that's my final conclusion. Let's call me a fan of the Stream Deck. And that's it. Now you know how to install, customize and use the Stream Deck for your webinars and make your life easier. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about webinars on how to host them, what gear to use and what it is like to work at a tech startup, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click like on this video and hit that notification bell. And let me know what is your favorite usage of the Stream Deck. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!